What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Mariner E, coming at you with a TV show episode review. Now, the TV show we're going to be talking about is Flash, episode one, season eight. Now, this is the Armageddon episode, and this is going to be a few crossovers. Now, before we get started, I got some new items, so I'm going to show you. So, y'all know I love me some My Hair Academia. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. We got our poster up here. And I like Disney as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I got myself a Izuki Midoriya pop figure. Now, some of y'all are already saying, like, hey, don't you already have one of these? Yes, I do. I have this one right here, now, as you can see. But the thing is, the difference between this one and this one is, is that this is kind of his original costume. This is kind of the one that I believe that his mother made for him. And this is the one that he had and he fought with. He fought against Bakugo in the team training. So then he kind of moved off of this costume and then, you know, kind of upgraded his costume to the one that we see now. So this is the kind of like the first one. So that's why I got it. I was like, you know, what? I'm going to get this one. This looks real cool. And then what I also got was, is this My Academia Volume 18. So as you can see right here, you see, and it's like the cover page for the book is like really, really cool. I love these cover pages for these different types of mangas. Because it's like really, really cool to look at. And this is the Chosky arc. This is season five where he's fighting. Midiora is fighting Chosky. And he has Aaron on his back. And she's kind of giving him all this power. So he's kind of fighting Chosky. And it's the end of it. So it's really cool. And the last thing I got was, was this Teen Titans season three. And Teen Titans <laughs> was a show that I watched in my youth. It was a couple of other shows like Generator Rex or Ben 10 that I kind of watched. But it was like it was a cool combination of when, you know, Cartoon Network had all the, you know, really good shows. And it's like me when I'm watching a TV show, there's like the art style and the characters. These characters are really, really good. Like one of my favorite characters is Beast Boy because it's like I love the ability to like turn into any different type of animal. Like that's a cool ability. But yeah. And as you can see, yeah. I got season one, two, and three now. So it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. Now, but we're gonna be talking about a DC show, since this, you know, this is DC, <laughs> Flash. And Flash season eight, episode one. Now, before I get started, spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen the episode yet. I don't want to spoil it for you. So I'm gonna be going over a couple of kind of good things, and then some things that are just kind of like, um, I don't think that was, that really didn't feel right. So, let's get into it. So the good things there are is, when we're watching this episode, you know, it kind of shows us what's happened. It's almost like a time skip, almost. Kind of like what they do in animes. Because it's like, now with Iris, she used to work for the Citizen. And the Citizen was only her, Allegra, and Camilla. That was only, like, the group of them working on the Citizen. And now, what we see now is, the Citizen is like, it's almost like the Daily Bugle, almost. It's like they've got a building, they've got more workers, and it's cool to see these kind of characters have grown up since we've last seen them in season seven. So then we see, you know, Flash, and even Caitlyn. Caitlyn is, Killer Frost is more, she's lovey-dovey for uh, Chill Blaine. She's lovey-dovey, but she hates him for Chill Blaine, and Caitlyn's like, you know what, maybe I should get into the dating game. So that's really cool. And, you know, then we got Barry and Iris who are trying to rekindle their marriage. But then, you know, Ray Palmer comes in. And Ray Palmer is Autumn, Captain Autumn. He's the one who can shrink himself and turn large and small. But the only thing, the problem that I had with these, with this episode was, was the first thing was, is the introduction to the, you know, Royal Flush Gang. And the Royal Flush Gang is a couple of individuals who are named after different cards, Jack, Queen, Ace, King, those characters, they have different abilities. But the way they were introduced into this episode, it was more like they were a minor villain because they ended up, they were trying to steal this certain item. But what I felt is it had nothing to do with the outer plot because this is, this is the episode Armageddon, as I said. It's going to be a couple of crossovers with different characters. Ray Palmer was one of those characters who came in the crossover because, you know, he's been in the Legends. But it was like, we get to where Flash defeats the Royal Flesh Gang and everything's fine, but Ray Palmer comes in 
And then Despero comes in and he's like, Flash, I have to kill you because you are going to destroy the world. Because he's like, he came back in time. Because the first part of the episode shows where he was looking at time and he was like, I have to stop this because it was chaos. Fire everywhere. The city was destroyed. So he's going and he's fighting Flash. The reason why I'm kind of like, eh, is because I was like, the Royal Flush game didn't seem to have anything to do with that. And then another thing was it seemed kind of slow to me. It seemed really, really slow. It, I mean, it was good, but it was like, it was taking its note. And I'm like, that could be either a good thing or a bad thing. Because I'm like, on the good side, it could be like, hey, we're going to sit out and explain all this stuff by going slow. Now, the bad thing is you can just kind of make it even slower and it'll become boring. But to say the least, honestly, I'm kind of like, I'm happy for Flash. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep on watching it. The first episode didn't seem like it was really like, oh, gosh, I hate this episode like me in season seven. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to continue kind of watching it. And, you know, it's sad kind of because this is the crossover episode. And we won't get to see Supergirl in it because Supergirl series has ended, which is pretty sad because I love Supergirl and Flash, even though I didn't want them to, you know, date or anything. I was just like, they made a really good duo. But yeah, this episode was really good and we're going to kind of see what the next episode is. So remember y'all, like and subscribe to the video and share the video with the fam. And if you're subscribed, click that bell icon to be notified for more videos. And if you've seen this episode, tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see y'all later, my Have a blessed day and a happy Thanksgiving.